So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, they'll be dead before we get close to them. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I... I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch... I gotta try. I own that, at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... Saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here, follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm, yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The Rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Alright. You should be fine. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. And try and find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? in and out before they can come back around. Let's deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other.
Stick to the wall. There's a guard right above us. need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife.
Put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. the keys. You have to get me out of here. Got him. Come on. <clears throat> Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine.
remember seeing a hole in one of the walls. They brought me in. No! It's been sealed back up. Want to deal with this, would you? Yes, but how? What about that cannon? Okay.
shore. I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. And Frank, let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. Don't mention it.
Come on, boy. Tied up like this? Put me down now! Please, cut me free. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. Nice folks around here.
Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need the climate. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. <clears throat> I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Huh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you really walloped him! Yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey, hit me again! Right here! Right here! That might have killed a lesser man. Oh! Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. Oh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. Oh, there's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the man. Don't worry. <laughs> My turn! Oh. 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 Enough, gentlemen? Oh. Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads?
Very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. Beautiful. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Uh, I'm not much of a storyteller, so uh, forgive me, but I, I really... I, I... I don't have much to say. Thanks, Pearson. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. I don't feel I understand it very much. Joe, might as well make some money off. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Sadie. You okay? Peachy. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I... I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? Like, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail? 
Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Fine morning for a killing. <laughs> hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there, but spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Look.
He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm -hmm. I ain't even got that. <laughs> Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.
Ring.